Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to give you five warning signs that the ad that you are looking at on Arms List might be a scam, and then I'm going to give you three ways to help you avoid being scammed on Arms List. So before you start thinking I'm bashing Arms List, uh, I don't think that Arms List is a bad place to buy guns from necessarily. Uh, I've just run into a lot of fraudulent uh, sellers on, on Arms List, and after running into them so many times and coming across false listings, I thought that I would make this video just to inform you guys on what to look for. So I know people that have successfully bought guns on arms list and haven't had any issues. So I'm not saying don't buy them, but this is just common sense things that you should think about if you're looking at buying a gun on there. So the big first warning sign, if you're looking at a gun, so say you go on arms list and you search for something and you find a new listing, and in the description of that rifle, if it has like something that's along the lines of a Wikipedia article, that's your big first warning sign. If you, if say, if you're searching for a K98K rifle, right, and you go on arms list, and the description should read something like, "This rifle was, you know, is made uh, in this year, and it has this code, and you know, this is the issues with the rifle. This is what's nice about it." It should sort of say something like that. Now, if the description reads something like, the k 98 k rifle was used by the German army in World War II and blah, blah, blah. If it if it's kind of has a lot of generic information, uh, that's your big first warning sign. There's been a time when somebody just straight up copy and pasted a Wikipedia article on that gun into their ad on arms list, and that should be a big red flag. If it's, if it's not specific, if it doesn't have specific information about that specific rifle, uh, just you need to really be careful when dealing with them. Uh, the second issue pretty often is that the pictures are very limited. Uh, the pictures of the gun, um, a lot of times they'll just be maybe one overall picture. I've seen ads when it's just one picture close up on one part of the gun. Uh, that, that's another big warning sign. If someone's really trying to sell a gun, they're gonna have a lot of pictures out there of the gun if they're wanting to sell it. So if, they, if they're not having those pictures, then they're probably not a legitimate seller. Another big warning sign, if the price is too low. Okay, if you know that there's an arms list listing and the, that rifle is a thousand dollar rifle and they're only asking $300 for it, I know it's easy to get excited about something like that, but you need to be really careful because the more excited you are about it, the more impulsive that you might be and the easier you are to get scammed out of it. So you need to be really careful when you see a price that's way off of fair market value. And number four isn't necessarily a dead giveaway that it's a scam, uh, but in a lot of the listings that I saw, the location would be very vague. So say instead of, um, instead of saying like Jacksonville, Florida, it would just say Florida, Florida, or Missouri, Missouri, or, or what, you know, just say the state twice. They, they don't give an exact location because they don't want you to know their exact location. If, usually if somebody's selling a gun, they'll put their city and state and you know, if you're close by, maybe you can swing by and look at it in person. So that's another pretty big red flag. And the fifth thing to look out for is the titles are often really weird. Sometimes uh, the, the, the actual rifle name is not correctly put in the title. So I'm gonna show you a listing here on the screen and it's, this is an ad for a human rifle. And uh, so it actually just says functions mechanically for, for the title of the rifle instead of saying the rifle. So in this ad, pretty much all five red flags are going up. You have the title is off, it's just functions mechanically instead of the rifle name. You have the dollar amount and the dollar amount is off. It's, it's a little lower than it should be. Uh, you have the location, it's, it's, it's general. It's, it's Florida, Florida. The description is basically just a Wikipedia article talking about you know, the history of the gun and not sort of describing that particular rifle. And the pictures are pretty limited. You got a picture of a, of a bayonet in one picture and the muzzle in the other, just terrible pictures. Uh, and it's you, pretty much you know that this this listing is a scam. All right, we got another listing here, and this is a pretty cool rifle that uh, I did get a little excited when I first saw the listing, uh, but started throwing up warning signs. So the, the rifle is way underpriced, which at first I, I maybe just thought that the person didn't know what it was uh, because it has, um, it has a good title, um, you know, has a, has a specific location where it is, uh, but the other red flags, it only has one picture on the ad. And if, if somebody knew what the gun was, I feel like that they, they would take more pictures of it. 
So a pretty simple Google uh, search came up with uh, this listing here. This is a, a sold listing on GunBroker. And, uh, and you can see how much the gun actually sold for on GunBroker. And uh, that, that just goes in with that, that warning sign of having a huge price discrepancy between what the gun should actually sell for and what it did sell for. So some things you can do whenever you're looking at ads, uh, reverse image search some of the images or whatever images they provide. And then you can literally copy and paste the description and Google search that description. And you usually come up with something that way. You can, you can see if anything, if they copied it from Wikipedia or if maybe if it came from a gun broker um, ad, you can sort of see where it came from. Now the three big things um, that you need to do if you maybe are looking into buying this rifle, and this is, these are all things to do whenever you're talking to the, to the seller of the rifle. The first thing you need to do is ask for more photos. Um, if you're already nervous about it or if you're willing to dish out hundreds of dollars, the seller of the rifle should provide more photos. So ask for new photos. And here's one trick, when you ask for a photo, ask for something really different, really unique that maybe somebody wouldn't take a lot of. Um, like ask for a picture of the trigger where the trigger goes through the bottom of the trigger guard underneath the rifle. Um, like that's not a picture that normal people would take. So if the person is really a motivated seller and if they legitimately are in possession of that gun, they, they can take a weird picture of it like that for you. So, so I suggest always asking for more pictures, maybe not asking for weird pictures that would just kind of prove that that person is the seller. Um, that, that way that can give you a little bit of peace of mind. The second thing is in your conversation with the person, um, sort of just two people talking, the, the person should sort of say, mention a couple things about themselves. They should, maybe they could mention, you know, where they're working or where they're from or whatever. If the person does not give any information about themselves at all, uh, that, that should be a, a pretty big warning flag right there. Now, some people are really private. Some people might not want to give this information out over the internet, whatever. But if they're trying to sell a gun on the internet, they're, they're probably fine, you know, giving you a little bit of information. So you should definitely be worried if they're not giving you any information about themselves. And the third thing, this is like the most important thing of everything. This is what you should take away from this video. The third thing is, that these scammers, they always, always say, oh, well, if you're worried, send me a hundred bucks, I'll send you the rifle, and then if you like it, you can send me the other three, four hundred dollars. They always, always try to get something out of you because these scammers aren't gonna send you anything. You're gonna send them that hundred bucks and that's gonna be the end of it. It's all you're gonna hear from them. So those scammers, they'll always, always try to be like, well, let's make a deal. Send me this much money and I'll do you this. Well, send me this money and I'll do you this. They're, they're always going to try to suck money out of you um, for basically nothing. So really, really be worried if they pretty immediately start talking about you sending them money. So that's, that should be the biggest warning sign. Now, if you see, if you run across anything like this, you can report it uh, to arms list that it's a potential fraud. And the cool thing is that arms list will actually warn everyone who's had contact with that seller about it being possible fraud if you if you do that so you might you might be saving somebody a lot of a lot of trouble by by reporting it so i hope this saves you a lot of trouble saves you from you know getting getting scanned by somebody on there that's just that would just be really really disappointing and terrible for that to happen so appreciate you watching